<sighs> in the spirit of Christmas, um, hi, it's me, Mad Mike. I'm here. Um, I, I was told this is going to be somewhat of a tete-a-tete. A tete, a, 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 I think in, in the, like on SmackDown and Raw, they call it like a summit or something like that. But, um, you know, it's the holiday season and I was told he's going to be here and I can see him. Um, allow me to introduce our quote unquote professor, Jacob Edwin. So it begins. Mad Mike, remedial Mike, melodramatic Mike. Melancholy, Mike, whatever you're going by this week, Mike, it begins right off the bat. Quote, unquote, professor. Interesting. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, We've you never have, seen your diploma. You have a lot to say, clearly. Uh, you have a lot to get off your chest. You've tried to get it off your chest during the show. So please, by all means, let's, let's hear it. By all means, begin. Well, I mean... Uh, We've never seen a diploma from you, sir. Like, as far as I know, like, I've had many professors in my life. I, I have several degrees, including one in professional wrestling. Legitimate degree in professional wrestling. And, you know, the best professors I know, they, uh, they, they have lesson plans, which you clearly have none. Because sometimes you just randomly say matches and don't say when they are. Or, you know, just give us thought-provoking questions when you don't elicit enough enough content for me to even think about on a daily basis. Um, it's just, and and the fact that you've never come on this show until then gives me pause as to whether or not you even care, because most professors. Don't insult the people they're trying to educate, which you seem to do on a nearly constant basis by not getting the name of the show right, by not getting the name of of uh, my esteemed co-hosts correctly. Um, and and honestly, it took you almost two months, two three months to come up with a name for your fucking segment, like you know. We expect some professionalism here on this show. Language, language, Mike. You have to use profanity when you address me. Obviously, I've struck a chord. Obviously, I've, I've played your notes here. Um, let's address a few things. First, I'm going to say something that you don't expect me to say. I guarantee it. Michael, you're right. Oh, my. Now, uh, real quick, for those that are only listening, the diploma that Mike held up uh, had sticky notes on it, as any great professional diploma does. So you've asked for my diploma more times than former President Obama has been asked for his birth certificate. Guaranteed. Um, <clears throat> I feel vilified and slandered and, but real quick, Mike, Michael, you're right. There's been a lot of things that I've let slip and a lot of things that I haven't given my full attention because you know what, Michael, your show does not deserve my full attention. I do this as a favor. I don't do this for me. I do this for you. And yet, clearly, it's going unappreciated. Uh, now I'm being cut off at the knees, being told that I'm not getting the name of the show right, the name of your co-host right. It's because I don't care enough about the show to do that. It's just that simple. But hey, to your point, maybe going forward, I do need to give you more thought-provoking questions, more pop quizzes. Maybe you need more. Maybe you need all of my attention, Michael. Can you handle all of my attention, Michael? I don't think you can. And you know what? I'm actually not going to give you all of that. There's several reasons. Let's break down a few. For one, the people that get my full attention are going to see me in a wrestling ring. Maybe you forget, maybe because of this fun little, you know, quirky, you know, segments that you forget. I am a professional wrestler, Michael. You are not. I'm a professional wrestler. I get in the ring and I tie people in knots. 
and I serve them a diploma on a silver plate underside my boot. Maybe you can put that together. Maybe that'll kind of settle it in that I don't give you enough attention because you don't deserve my attention. <sighs> now, as far as lesson plans and the effort per put forth for a professor, maybe I do need to bring more. Maybe I need to bring more to the table. Maybe you're right. You know, this is the spirit of Christmas, but I, I myself, I prefer the spirit of Festivus. Have you ever heard of Festivus? It's from a very famous show in the 90s called Seinfeld. Uh, from, from what I hear, it's for the rest of us. Oh, it's I'm for, sorry. It's, please, it's, please go on. From what I hear, Festivus is, is for the rest of us. It's That's for the rest of us. Thank you, Michael. Beautiful. That's the content that you bring to this show because that's so great. You know what, Michael? The feats of strength are the absolute paramount of the Festivus ritual where two people get to hash out a tete a tet, and eventually they get to physicality, Michael. You never get to physicality. That's very clear by your appearance and by anybody watching. You never get to physicality. But that's low brow. You know, that's, that's beneath me. That's a shot I didn't even have to take. So you know what? I even apologize for that. Hey, you, know, you know, the only feats of strength that I have to display is carrying your fucking segment. Hmm. That's listen, it. Listen, you couldn't carry the strings on my boots. So, Michael. <clears throat> <sighs> Michael, what do we do here? Where, where do we go? Does this go on forever? Do you just wanna you know, play and verbally jab with me forever? Because that's what you're doing, Michael. You're playing. You know, you got a taste of playing the professor for a few weeks there. You got a great little taste of it and now you can't let it go. You can't let me go. You can't get me out of your mind and yet, from the start to the end of pressing pause and play on the videos that I record and the lessons that I record for your show, that's the beginning and end of my thoughts on Mad Mike. In fact, sometimes I don't have you in mind at all. But going forward, you're my star pupil. Mike, this is just for you. This is just between you and I. And from now on, the lessons will be catered to you. Is that what you want? Do I want an audience of one? No, I don't have to cater to one mad mic. I have to cater to many. Because honestly, I get more responses on my Facebook from this than I do from your show. It's just that simple. And they seem to enjoy it very much on my Facebook, on my Instagram. In fact, I'm getting so many purchases from ProWrestlingTees.com slash Jacob Edwin that I don't know what to do with myself. So, See, what else do you have to say, Mike? So you say that I'm not in your head, which, okay, you, you can claim that. However, when you have addressed the individual members of the Wrestling Mayhem show, I noticed that I was the only person whose name you got correctly. And, like, you, you don't even call Sorg by his proper name. And Sorg, that, that's an easy name to get. Like... I, so, me think you doth protest a little too much. And I, I don't know if you know this about me. I actually have several other degrees besides my very real degree in professional wrestling. I am also a master's in chemical engineering where I was, quote unquote, not really, because I was a professor. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to giving lessons. So while, yes, I may have never stepped foot in a professional wrestling ring as an active competitor, that is true. That's not what you're proposing. You are coming to us as a teacher, as an educator. You are coming to us to impart knowledge, and I believe you have failed in that regard. Because I feel that when you are an educator... You need to interact with your students. This is 2020. Do you know how much 
distance learning is going on, how children in kindergarten are learning to get on Zoom chats with their teachers so that they can talk to them and not speak to a screen every week where you ignore us and insult us. And sometimes you don't even give your thoughts on the match. You say very generic statements about the two people involved in the match, and then you just say, and here's your next assignment, blah, 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 blah. and I'm not going to tell you where it is. You're going to have to fucking figure it out. So, yes. Can we address that real fast? Oh. Real fast, real oh. fast. You are blaming me for Sorg's mistake. He mixed up the tapes. I don't know if you guys paid attention, but he played my review tape as an assignment, and then my assignment as a review tape. It's just that simple. So yes, I uh, give, so out, so you're I give the out exact matches because I don't want to mix up because you guys have gotten the match wrong a couple of times. Well, well okay. Um, here, here we go. Um, how about label the files better? That's on you. I did. Sword I don't think you have. Sword Sword say, is very intelligent man. Is he doing podcast organized than I am? I did label them. He even complimented me on that. I don't no, know Sorg has never complimented me behind the scenes. But Sorg and I get along just fine. We get along just fine. But you, you seem to have the problem. The guests, the wrestlers, they always seem to love my assignments, my cadence, my oh, everything. I am a valuable asset to wrestlers I'm, whose I'm minds a- is who I'm catering to. In fact, wrestlers, wrestlers are who gave me the name Professor first. I didn't earn the professor name. Exactly. In college. I earned it in a locker room and in a wrestling ring. I earned it in practice. This is a, this is, uh, what's the word, Mike? Oh, since oh I don't know. You're the professor. You're the professor. You tell me what's what the word. word? Is it a appointed, appointed professor? I, I, I believe the word is fake. Honorary? Fake. Honorary fake. might be the word. In any case, oh, hold on, hold on. Not, how about scripted, scripted are in the ring. Predetermined professor? Is, is that better? Predetermined? Scripted? Is this scripted? Is this predetermined? Did we talk about this? I don't think so. So, all right. You, you bring to the point comments about me rambling in my videos. You love to bring that to the light. Rambling, speaking freely, speaking with my mind and not writing it all down and making sure it's exactly right when I start the camera. Oh, I got it wrong. Let me stop. That's not what's happening here. That's not what, happened. That's not what happens in my videos. I speak off the cuff and I watch so much wrestling and so many matches like, let's take Umaga. Yeah. Yes, I spoke broadly about Umaga. No, I'm, I'm, because it was I'm sorry, are you still Umaga. going? Huh? You, I nodded off for a second. Are you still going? Okay, so it's my fault that you nod off. It's my fault that you don't pay attention in class. It's my fault. It's my fault, Mike. Mike, maybe some people just don't want to learn. Maybe you, like all the other smart marks out there, think they know everything about pro wrestling and think there is nothing left to learn. They think they know it all, so they think they don't have to pay attention. I see this everywhere. I see this in every town and every state that I go to, that they don't want to pay attention. Well, you know what? You have to. I'm shoving it down your throat, just like I shove it down the throats of my opponents, just like I shove it down the throats of America. Edwin's lessons go forward. It is pass or 